Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we will be talking about how you can grow from a data analyst to a data scientist. This is actually one of the most requested videos because if you are someone who is looking for you to transition from a data analyst kind of role into a data scientist, watch this video until the end and let me know if you are going to be doing the same. So many of you are trying to get the data science job uh, with an analytics degree, or it could be just you transitioning from a data analytics domain into data science. So this video is definitely for you. To give you guys a little bit of backstory, when I was a data analyst, I, I had an opportunity to transition to either data science or data governance. So I chose data governance and that's when I did this research on how to grow from a data analyst. What is the next step? How to grow into a data scientist? And uh, this is basically from my research and some things that people really don't talk about. So let's get right in. So the first thing that I would suggest you to when you are trying to transition to from a data analyst role into a data scientist, I would ask myself the first question as to why you want to become a data scientist. So when you ask yourself this question, you obviously would get answers like probably the first thing would be, you know, data scientists make more money. Yes. And uh, the second thing is obviously that comes with, you know, uh, you know, learning a lot more uh, learning, obviously it's data science and AI is, is an industry which is growing very quickly and with that comes like imposter syndromes etc so there are a lot of things that comes with it and also pro if programming is your passion identify that maybe note it down as to why you want to become a data scientist I personally did this when I was transitioning from a data analyst to into data governance so the next thing that I would suggest is try to understand what skills you are good currently good at as a data analyst you would definitely know sql excel power bi visuals like visualization tools and things like that so the things that a data scientist needs is more of python programming java whichever language you are comfortable with so identify that start learning those skills so again this ties back to the why and if you are a great programmer you love programming you literally lose your probably lose your time when you are programming so if you enjoy programming so much uh, then definitely data science is for you and especially building models and that comes to art so that takes me to the third important uh, thing that you need to consider when you're trying to transition from a data analyst to a data science role and that is math foundations of math and statistics model building skills uh, having this is very important for a data scientist so are you someone who you know really enjoys building models uh, understanding the business problems trying to implement these models um, and the whole entire basically the life cycle of a data scientist and also there are different pathways of a data scientist uh, it could be a data science generalist a someone who is more into machine learning models like model tunings so you need to understand uh, the different life cycle of a data science and you need to make sure that what kind of category you fit in i know in in the beginning phases it's going to be really hard for you to understand all these terms but you you need to start somewhere and uh, basically ask, ask questions to yourself ask questions to yourself to see if you really enjoy programming if you really enjoy math and stats and model building so just that would be the foundations that i would give you ask these questions to yourself and you will be in a good place and then the next thing that i would say is um, so if you look at these job roles and responsibilities today you will find 
tons of different things so i would suggest you to if you are someone who is currently working the one of the best part that you could do for yourself is to maybe ask the employer uh, about how you can actually help them to do data science uh, maybe talk to your employer and ask them about how you can help them with your data science skills that is the best way that you can actually implement and learn and if you are someone who is trying to having the data analytics degree and you're trying to transition to data science the best way that you can do is is participate in these competition hackathons there are so many ways that you can actually put your data science skills to use you know work on different projects and also when you are working on these projects make sure that you pick a, a problem statement that you are passionate about uh, that way it if you actually understand what is the problem and you are actually providing a valuable solution many of us dive in and you know just dive in and try to you know do different different problems right uh, you try to do a lot different problems i've done this project this project no that's not how you do it you have to understand the business problem you need to understand the different terminologies you need to be passionate about that problem and then be able to solve it so these are some things that i considered when i was uh, trying to transition from a data analyst to data governance and now let me tell you why i chose data governance over data science so when i was transitioning from data analytics to data governance so in data governance we actually help the entire organization basically guard protect secure data and basically understand where your data is going what kind of data we have and those kind of things so data governance fascinated me a lot more compared to data science uh, it you could be someone like me who doesn't want to be hands on with programming and building the models in fact more of like protecting the data understanding the entire data workflow and where all our data where is the input of the data where is the output of the data and understanding the entire life cycle if you are someone like me then they probably data governance is for you and if you are someone who is more no you know i'm more technical i i love to program then data science is for you and i hope this video has helped you uh, i will leave the links for all my other previous videos do watch like share and subscribe to this channel we bring to you a lot more content on data data science productivity career transition and I will see you in the next one.